Happy Monday, Tigers. I hope you're having a great day so far and that today's TNN will make it even better. I'm your anchor, Scarlett, here to deliver you guys the news on awesome slow high school clubs and today's U.S. history. And I'm your second anchor of the week, bringing you the latest news on the quest of Cougar field trip for Slow Test Seniors, and most importantly, today's lunch. Last but not least, I'm today's sports anchor, Sean, covering our Tiger Athletics program. Without further ado, here are the news announcements that you, you need, need to, to know. know. Still not sure about buying your yearbook? Well, here's some advice from a former Slow High School graduate, the one and the only Mr. Dickinson. He says, I still do have my yearbook. It's fun looking back at pictures of some old friends. Available now at $95. Scan this QR code to text your parents about buying the yearbook, or you can purchase it at jostens.com. You won't regret it. Tigers, here's more information on the formal wear drive. Hey Tigers, it's Delilah here telling you about the formal drive we are hosting for prom. You can donate anything from dresses, tuxes, suits, jewelry, heels, men's fancy shoes here at the ASB room and here in the office. This donations will be accepted from now until April 23rd. The event will be held on April 24th in the theater at lunch. All slow high students are welcome to come and pick out an outfit. See you there, Tigers. Tigers, I know there's only seven weeks left until school ends, but it's never too late to join the fan fun clubs slow high school has to offer. For example, our school's pickleball club, mountain bike club, and badminton club. So if you're ready for some excitement and friendly competition, Join Pickleball Club to stay active. The Pickleball Club meets every other Wednesday in room 908, so Tigers, scan the QR code if you want to develop new skills and make friends through the awesome blend of tennis, ping pong, and badminton. And if you're looking for another club that combines fun and fitness, then look out for the Slow High School Mountain Bike Club. They're welcoming and returning all new members in Mr. Naren's room 203 every Tuesday at lunch. And lastly, check out our badminton club and the big gym every Friday at lunch. Whoa, those clubs sound awesome, Scarlett. However, I'm more of an artistic person who likes to create stuff. Do you know any clubs for that? I'm glad you asked, Loic, because I have just the right clubs for you. If you're interested in cultivating your craft and creative writing or sharing your favorite character or games, Join the Slow High School Creative Writing Club every Thursday in Miss Sainsbury's room, 205 at lunch. And you might also want to join our school Ceramics Club because they are hosting their annual Empty Bowls event at school on, Mon on May 2nd from 5.30 to 7.30. Please scan the QR code on the screen or around the campus to purchase your event ticket. This ticket won't just give you a bowl to keep, but you can also fill it up with the soup provided at the event. The soup will go great with the end of the year art show and student film showcase provided. Even more, by buying a bowl, you are supporting the slow high school students and the local homeless community. So buy tickets and bring friends to support a great cause. I will definitely be checking out those clubs and I hope to see you there as well, Tigers. But life isn't all fun and games. It's important to focus on your future, especially you seniors. That's why I'd like to share the news on May 9th's Cuesta Cougar Welcome Day field trip. So pay attention, Quest Abound, or Quest of Interested Seniors, because our Cougar Welcome Day is happening on May 9th from 8.30 to 12.15. On this day, Quest Abound seniors will be traveling to Quest's campus to meet with Quest of counselors to design their educational plans and enroll in fall classes early. It's a great opportunity for students to meet with their advisors in their area of study and connect with specialists as well. If you are interested in attending, have your parent fill out the permission slip found at Parent Square and check out the interest form on the Class of 2024 Google Classroom as well. Before signing up, Make sure you have finished the Quest of Promise steps with Mrs. Hoyt. And once again, text your parents to sign up the permission slip of Parent Square right now, just in case you forget, Tigers. Thanks so much for the insightful news on college events coming up, Luik. Now, enough screen time for us. Let's take it to our sports anchor, Sean, for our, the, our awesome Tiger Sports. What's good, Tigers? I'm your sports anchor, Sean. I hope you had a great weekend and are enjoying today's TNN so far. Now get ready for today's news on Tiger Athletics because it is jam-packed. First things first, varsity baseball is facing Arroyo Grande this Wednesday. 
on Taylor Field at 4.30. Varsity softball, on the other hand, is going against Santa Ynez this Tuesday on Slow Highs Field at 4.30. Our track and field team is also competing against Paso Robles this Wednesday on their campus at 3.30. As for beach volleyball, they're facing Royal Grande tomorrow on Tuesday at Cal Poly around 7 p.m. Today, boys golf was a part of AG's League Mini at Cypress Ridge around 12 p.m. Stunt, meanwhile, has a competition this Wednesday at Paso Robles against St. Joseph's and AG from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m. Last Thursday, our girls softball team had a game against Orchid Academy and lost 7 to 11 in extra innings. For Swim and Dive, look out for their game against AG this Wednesday at Slow High from 2 to 3 p.m. As for Boys Varsity Tennis, our Tigers have a league prelims this Wednesday. Last but not least, Boys Volleyball is going against St. Joe's tomorrow at 5 p.m. I hope you enjoy today's Tiger Sports and are planning to show up to cheer for our awesome Tiger athletes. Now back to our awesome anchors Scarlett and Luik for today's lunch in U.S. history. Thanks so much for those insightful Tiger Sports, Tom. For lunch today, We'll be having a nitrate free, 100% hot dog hot dog, carne asada tacos, Italian sub with local <laughs> MPS salami, and a side of Caesar salad. What a wonderful array of lunch options. Make sure to thank the cafeteria staff, Tigers. And on this day in U.S. history, so many things happened. First, in 1865, sadly, President Abraham Lincoln died from a gunshot wound he received while attending a performance at the Ford Theater. Also in 1912, the Titanic sunk in North Atlantic waters. But on more positive news, in 1947 on April 15th, Jackie Robinson became the first African-American player to join the major leagues in baseball. And that's all for today, Tigers. See you tomorrow.